Hello and welcome to the Walking Talking Topics on Constructions and Loci and this is question number one with me Mr Barton. Now for this entire series of videos you'll obviously need your worksheets with you which you can get from clicking on the link below this video or on my Mr Barton Maths website and you'll also need to arm yourself with a lovely ruler, here's mine, and a lovely compass and uh, with a pencil attached to it. So let's have a look at question number one. A valuable statue is on display. To protect the statue, a glass cuboid is built around it. A scale drawing of the plan view um, of the cuboid is shown below, and we've got a scale of one centimeter to 20 centimeters. Scales are the key in all these loci questions. A barrier is built around the cuboid so that no one can stand within 60 centimeters of the cuboid. Using the given scale, draw accurately the locus of the barrier. So nobody is allowed within 60 centimeters of this cuboid. And we can see here, six, 20 centimeters is one centimeter. So let's just make a note there. I reckon if we want 60 centimeters, oh, pencils just broke a little bit there. I reckon that is three centimeters on our scale drawing. So nobody can be within three centimeters of this particular um, cuboid. So how are we gonna do this? Well, the straight bits are fairly easy because you've, you can't be within three centimeters of these vertical lines and these horizontal lines. So those bits are all right. It's the corners that are the tricky bit. Now, it's often a good idea with loci to try and picture the kind of shape that you um, imagine it's gonna take at the end. So you can't stand within three centimeters um, of this rectangle. So hopefully you can picture that we're gonna have some kind of parallel side there and any uh, parallel line and anybody within the uh, the ruler as I've got here is gonna be too close. Anyone outside is gonna be absolutely fine. But then what's gonna happen at these corners? Well, let's get the let's get the sides constructed first, and we'll worry about the corners. So we're going to go within three centimeters. So the best thing to do here um, is to ensure it's parallel. Is I find is to put your ruler along the horizontal bit here, just so you can check it's lined up, and then measure exactly three centimeters and place a dot. That way, you give your best, uh, you get the best chance of keeping this side parallel. Now I know this is um, obvious to say, but please make sure you have your zero there. I see a lot of people sometimes put the one there, which is a little bit dodgy. And then let's do the same here. So let's line up our ruler and let's go for three centimeters and place a dot. And it's often good just to be on the safe side to pop one in the center. Always better when you're drawing a straight line to give yourself three points to aim for. And let's join them up. Ah, they're looking quite nice. They're in a nice straight line position there. So there we go. I have a nice parallel, uh, parallel line there. And if I check any bit of that, it should be three centimeters. Things are looking good there. Right, let's construct this exact same thing on the other side. So I'm going to go reasonably quickly through this. Try and keep up with me if you're doing it at the same time. I'm measuring three centimeters, placing a dot. And I'll do one just there as well and place a dot. And let's join them up to be a straight line. Yep. And I, as I say, if it goes through the three points, Things tend to be looking pretty good. And then we're gonna to have to do the exact same thing here. So I'm lining my ruler up and notice, as I said, I've just got my little bit of the ruler line in there just so I can check I've got it straight. Three centimeters, one in the center, three centimeters. I know this is off camera, I'll move it in two seconds. Three centimeters. So we get something that looks like that. Let's join them up with a straight line. This is looking all right, this. And then finally, let's do this one three centimeters there, little dot, three centimeters there, little dot, and three centimeters there, little dot. Join them up with a straight line. Perfect, so I've got that going on. But the problem is what happens at these corner bits? Now you might be tempted just to join that up with a diagonal line, but it's not quite right that, because if I measure three centimeters um, with my ruler, and place it there, you can see that that dot doesn't fit within that diagonal line. It's not quite right that it's three centimeters uh, to join a diagonal line there, because you've got to make sure that they're, no, they're not further than three centimeters away from that point. And if you want distance from a point um, in loci, you're going to need yourself a circle. So you're going to need to get your compass out. So let's get the compass into play. Let's put the sharp bit at zero, and let's get the pencil bit at three centimeters. Now, I'll be honest with you, I know a lot of students are dodgy at using a compass. Wait till you see me in action. I tend to be absolutely useless at this. So let's put the spiky bit here. 
and let's join as smooth as we can. Now the key to this tends to be light touch. A little curve and look what look what happens there. If you do it right, it'll join up your two points like that. And you end up, as you go around here, with something that resembles like a 400 meter running track, if you see those in athletics. Now do it as light as you can. And you'll get a little bit of margin for error in the exam. They'll tend to get a computer to draw it accurately, and that'll be put on kind of a see-through bit of paper and laid over the top of your diagram. So you'll need to be reasonably accurate. And it's often worth, if you've done a few of these, just checking that your compass still is three centimeters apart, because if you nudge it a little bit, it can come a little bit inside. But if we do that, and do that all the way around then I think we've got a reasonably nice drawing there and the nice bit is you can just check if you measure any point on there it should be three centimeters away from your line so there you go